for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how I set up to do an extremely large diamond painting. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fold out table and I'm going to use that because when I, I want to be able to store this thing when I'm not working on it. I don't want it to take up my desk. So if you have a folding table or a folding card table I recommend using that to do your extra large diamond painting. So this thing is folded out right here like this. And now I'm going to put the extra large diamond painting on that. I'm also going to adjust the camera up just a little bit. Okay. Hang with me. All right, that worked out pretty good. And I'm going to turn down this light a little bit to reduce the glare. see for, for purposes of what we're trying to do. Okay. I have this 60 by 60 beautiful sea turtle diamond painting that we're going to use. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get it out on this table. I'm going to put it right side up. 60 by 60. Okay, I've had it rolled up in the box since I did the unboxing video. And a quick way to get this thing to lay flat is just peel up from each one of the corners. Okay. And that helps that helps flatten it out. Oops, that guy's ripped a little bit. This one's going to take forever, by the way, when you, when you go as slow as I do. Uh, it will take a while. I think I'm just going to spin this around and do this. Let's be faster than climbing all over the table. Unpeel. Roll it back down. Unpeel. Roll it back down. We'll do that all the way around. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some tape. I'm going to tape down all the sides. That was done as I, I did the legend. So we're going to rethink that. at the bottom, but I'm going to work my chair around the table to work on this. That's how we're going to, that's how we're ultimately going to do this thing. This is going to take me probably, probably two months is my guess. Uh, as slow as I go, I am not very fast at all. Uh, I've got some pens that have that have six six diamonds at a time. I can use that. I'm not too worried about this legend on this side because I don't use it that much. You know, you just need one legend is all you need. And remember, we can always redo this tape later on if, if we need to. Okay. So, this is just a this is just going to slide around on the table and I'm going to show you a neat trick here when we're done because if I, if I keep this thing taped on flat when I do certain sections, I can still just fold up the table and put the table in the closet. Okay, here comes the, here comes one of the cool parts. I'm going to 
take my diamond right here and I'm going to write on this side of the this side of the bend sea turtle over here is old glory okay and that's another one I'm working on right now so I just put sea turtle old glory so now I'm just going to Fill these up. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see because I know I'm going to start on the upper right hand side. And I've got dollar signals, pounds. Uh, okay, so dollar. That's 38.12 and 38.46. Okay. So we're going here. I pretty much know it's these two colors. ways to do this okay so our dollar sign our pound sign is 3812 I'm gonna do two bags I'll tell you doing two bags for me is will be a lot at one time We'll easily fit two of these bags. So yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do six bags of these. We'll do this a little faster. Sorry about that. Okay. That's not a big deal. Okay, we can clean those up at the end. All right. And we always have way too many diamonds. Well, I never say always, but normally you should have too many diamonds. Okay, now we'll do the dollar signs. believe the key to the big diamond paintings is to get organized get everything ready get your get your pens ready get your wax ready uh, get your gems ready get the diamond painting ready and be prepared so that you can move quickly and efficiently when it's time to actually start diamond painting because last thing you want to do is be be slowed down by logistics especially because on a big one you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna catch it when you can right hey I've got an extra 30 minutes I'm gonna run upstairs or run run to the you know wherever I do this and start diamond painting so I've got I've got uh, four bins done and let's get another symbol that we know is gonna be in here got a little diamond okay and that's 
seems to be 3809. Do these and then we're going to stop with this. I'm going to show you what we're going to do next to help us. Uh, okay, see six bags. in that that is so nice okay that'll get us started up in that section take this trash throw it away too concerned about these extra diamonds first of all if we run out of diamonds we can all substitute colors and I think with this diamond painting nobody's gonna Nobody's going to know the difference. It's uh, mostly green, green, blue, as you can see right here. Okay, now for the, now for the fun part. Okay. Step away for a few minutes for a production issue. And while I did, I filled in the rest of the containers for the sea turtle over here. So they're good to go as we work on our large diamond painting. You can see I've removed the tape. I'm going to put it back because I didn't really have it tight enough. And I want to show you how good it looks when you stretch the canvas tight and you use the tape. So we're going to try that again. Hang with me. All right, learning as we go. This is my first giant diamond painting. Very interested to see how this is going to go. I know it's going to take me forever. I'm so slow with this. My eyes are so bad. Uh, but getting it taped down to this table is going to be really important, I think. And getting it taped down properly is going to be important. So, here we go. is much tighter and it's in there really really nice okay so we'll take this side and start it and we'll pull this tight and we'll lay the tape down and now we have a nice tight large diamond painting taped to the table and we can leave it here for months if if need be while we work on the diamond painting and then each time each time we want a diamond paint we can just pull it out of the closet now because i had to cut away no pun intended you missed the part where i take this exacto knife right here it's very sharp and 
I decided since it was a 60 by 60 diamond painting that I would cut it in 12 sections on the top and 12 sections on the side and that will give me uh, five by five sections, five centimeters by five centimeter sections to work on. And I could start from either side if I wanted to. And I cut two rows, okay? And I just eyeballed it, okay? Uh, halfway up here is right here. One, two, and the same thing. This is the center of the diamond painting. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's just gentle pressure with the X-Acto knife laid in there. And it cuts right through the wax paper, but not into the canvas. And then I cut the sections right here. So we're ready to go at a moment's notice. Now, because I like to do math, that we cut it 12 sections by 12 sections, 12 by 12, so that's 144. And each section is five by five, and that's gonna be roughly 400. Okay. So I know I can do about 400 gems, uh, probably in about 30 to 40 minutes. So each time I sit down to do a section, I'm going to, I'm going to need about 30 or 40 minutes. So if I'm in between chores during the day, or I have to go somewhere, say four o'clock and it's three o'clock, I know I can do a section easily before I leave. I take the table out. I take my gems out, which are ready to go. I've got my tray and my diamond pen handy at all times. Boom, I can do a section in 40 minutes. If I've got two hours, I know I can do two sections easily. And I can come in and just peel off one of these things and go to town. Now, I like the card table because I can take this chair right here you can see it's a chair and I can roll this thing in to any side of the card table I want and with a large diamond painting you're not always going to be able to reach all the way across the thing if I had my chair down at this end and I had to reach it like this I'd get tired quickly but now I can bring my chair in from this side and start right here and start working on this square right here and it's going to be very important uh, when you're doing the corners because you're going to want the chair on that side so sorry about the wavy hands so that's why i like the i like using the card table for these things now as far as storing goes okay this it works for me now you could take a uh, easily you could roll this thing up in between sessions if you wanted to you could also take poster board and tape it to poster board and then just put the poster board behind a, a cabinet or a filing, you know, filing cabinet or up against the wall. Um, I don't want to do that because I don't want, or you could just put it in the closet. Uh, I don't like to just leave it out on a table the whole time because we have three cats. One of them might get on it. Uh, our cats are kind of old. They don't, well, one of them's young, but he's fat, but that's another story. Uh, but uh, I like this because I can just fold this table up, put it in a closet, and then pull it out and work on it whenever I need to. There is another way to store this. I'm going to show you this now. I'm going to pull the tape back off. All right, show you one more way to store this. I think this is kind of cool. And I might even I might even use this method. Just going to be so convenient. So, put the tape off. You can always put the tape back on. But if I take a hanger, a men's trouser hanger, okay, you can get these at Ross uh, very easily if you don't have one. And just clip it like this. Bam. 
I can hang this puppy up uh, in the closet and take it out when I need to, lay it down on the table. I don't even have to use tape. Take this off, peel one of these sections off right here, pull out my gems, start diamond painting when I'm done. Bam. Right back into the closet. I love it. And that'll work. That'll work for as long as we're doing the diamond painting. So I might even use that instead. Okay, thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to conclude the video asking you to subscribe, like, leave a comment. Let us know your techniques for how you handled the large diamond painting.